Hey guys, a quick little glimpse of what's sold here today on Wednesday. Okay guys, a quick glimpse of Thursday sales. Hey guys, we are back with another what's sold on eBay video. These are the sales from Wednesday. You probably got a taste, uh, a couple clips there of what's sold the past couple days. So hopefully that gets you excited. And one big $100 item for sure. And then a bunch of kind of run in the mill bread and butter stuff. So hopefully sales are going well for you. And hopefully your business is growing and you're finding ways to improve. Definitely YouTube is a great way to do it. There's a lot of great channels out there with great information. Hopefully you can find some people that you like along with mine and learn something to improve your business. But let's go ahead and go over what sold. So we have a Tupperware set. This is one of those hamburger patty keeper ones. It's 10 of the Tupperware containers with one lid and the little top part here. This ended up selling for a 33 ship. It sold pretty much within a day, roughly a little over a day maybe, so pretty quickly. I've sold three different sets of that before, all for right around that $30 mark. So definitely if you see those, might be worth your time. Uh, this one will probably go over a pound shipping, but even if I spend eight bucks to ship it out, 32 bucks is still a great deal. That all came from the Hirsch buy. Sold a wrestling belt. This is a newer one. It's the Inter Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship, but it's got like, it doesn't have the foam one or whatever, the, the belt part. So this one sold for, I think, 25 shipped. Came from a big wrestling buy that we had from Storage Unit Guy. Most of the wrestling belts I had gotten there will probably go for 20 to 30. There's a couple that are a little bit harder to find and go for a little bit more. But if you can find them, especially the earlier ones by Jack Specific, uh, those ones seem to do a little bit better sometimes. A Roto Stripper. I don't even take the price off. I didn't realize there's a little $4 price tag here. Got this at an estate sale for 4 bucks. That was brand new, open box. Uh, actually, what happened was when we were first moving into our storage unit, we had to move out of our other place pretty quickly. And this was something I had just bought. And it got separated from the box somehow. So this piece was in another box and this was just lying around. I found this first and I'm like, one day I'm going to find this. And then I, when we moved, I finally found it. So I ended up selling for 35 shipped though. So I spent four. It took like over a year because it was lost. But once it came back, it only took a couple weeks to sell and it went out for 35 shipped. So I think it's an as, on see, as seen on TV thing as well. Here's a little book here. Give Your Child a Superior Mind by Engelman, Simon & Schuster. Uh, like no dust jack or anything. This one sold for, I want to say 40 something ship, but whatever you see on the screen for sure, this came in the book buy from the guy that we bought. Uh, he, he had ran a storage unit or he had a storage unit and he did an antique booth and all of his books were left in there. So we got those from one of our sources and that was another good one. Some flavor A, like knockoff Kool-Aid stuff. There's five packs of these. They, uh, sold for 21 ship. We spent, I think like eight or 10 bucks on like, I don't know, 30 packs maybe. So we've probably sold six little sets of these for around 20 to 30 ships. So we've done very well on that deal. I don't have enough to do another set of five. I think I have a couple more left that might be able to sell. But I love those multi-quantity items. Here's a little Pampered Chef item. Just grabbed it, threw it in my pile because it was brand new. I won a state sale. This sold for 13 ships. It's a little spatula. I forgot the number. 26, 22. Pampered Chef stuff. Some of it does better than others. This one was just brand new. That's why I grabbed it. A little textbook here, Drug Society and Human Behavior 15th edition. This one, they actually made a newer edition, but I listed it because for whatever reason, this edition was selling every once in a while. And this one sold for about 12 or 13 bucks. So when a big book buy, I'll list anything kind of in that $12 mark if it's going to ship me an email because I know I can make some money. But with textbooks, usually as they make new ones, the older ones become a little less valuable. Here's a Sony remote. I just listed this one a couple, like a week or two ago, an RMYD010 TV remote. This one sold for 15 bucks. So an old Sony TV remote, 15 bucks. I'm all about that. It sold pretty quickly. And I'm, I'm trying to tell you guys when stuff sells, if it's been sitting or if it's been, um, you know, listed pretty quickly. And the reason being is I think it's good information because some of us are running more long tail like me. Obviously, I'll list things and let them sit for a while. Others don't have the room. You really got to have those quick flips. So I'm hoping... If I say it sold quickly, you'll know that that item might be something you could pick up. And if it was a long tail, maybe it might not be for you if you got to move stuff quick, but it might be for someone else who's willing to hold on to it. So hopefully that information is helpful. Uh, Kinyo, this is a beta format uh, rewinder, but it, I, I can't get it to work. Um, I sold it for like 30 bucks though for parts because this is not a um, normal VHS one. It's for like a beta tape. So if it did work, I think it would go for like 60 or 70 bucks. Um, but I ended up getting 30 for that one. So can't complain. And then lastly, this is probably something you saw. This is a Miele, Miele, M-I-E-L-E. -E. Um, this is just a canister vacuum. I got it for seven bucks at a uh, garage sale. It came with the hose, but the hose was damaged and the little like spout on the end or whatever, the little suction thing was cracked. It had tape on it. I paid seven bucks. I knew the vacuums were really high and I sold one 
probably about a year ago for around 200 bucks that was complete and i underpriced mine because I, I didn't get it for much so i shipped it out for i think 50 bucks i was happy to make 100 and something on it but this one i had for so long because it was dirty and beat up and you can still tell it's not in perfect shape but it's it was way worse it does have some scuffs on the side uh, but i took a little cleaning wipe and some magic eraser and i really got it cleaned up pretty nice um, I decided to list it just the canister as a replacement tested it out because I had the hose it worked beautifully uh, It just doesn't have all the pieces listed it for a hundred bucks and it sold overnight going to California too So shipping will be super cost-effective, which is even better Because um, shipping will probably cost us 20 bucks 20 something bucks Maybe maybe even less if it's going closer and I'm um, shipping that to, You know New York or something might have cost us $45 so in the end, definitely happy it went somewhere close, and I'm happy that it sold for 100 bucks. so I cannot complain about that. Um, there's a lot of channels that talk about like selling vacuums. I used to watch uh, like Gil Daddy in them. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of them, but they used to sell a lot of like vacuum parts and part stuff out. It's one of the places I you know, really appreciate it because they were finding new ways to make money. Um, there's a couple other, Osborne to Thrifts, a guy who just started YouTube. He's had Instagram for a long time, and I think he's been selling for a while, but he is always finding good appliances and parting them out and selling vacuums and stuff. So if you want more tips on that, definitely check out Osborne to Thrift. He's uh, definitely a good channel there. Super nice guy, too, from what I can tell, and has a good, good, good knowledge. So I'm going to try to pick up more of these vacuums. I've kind of uh, not really targeted them too much just because I was afraid of the shipping back then and I don't want to deal with them. But now I ship pretty much everything, so there's no point not to go ahead and jump on them. So I think I'll grab some more in the future. But that's all I have for you guys, and we'll see you with tomorrow's sales. Take care. Hey, everyone. We're back with a couple more sales from Wednesday. A couple of decent ones and one kind of bigger one, so I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys them. We sold Colonial House. on the, It's a PBS DVD. This one sold for 18 shipped. I want to say it was 250 at a thrift store. I had never heard of it before. When I'm looking up DVDs, guys, once you start selling them regularly enough, uh, you'll start to find ones you haven't heard of. Those are the ones I usually want to look up. This one I did, and it was worth about 18 Sold Ice T, the original Gangster cassette, for 9 bucks. Not a whole lot, but we've made so much money on those hip-hop cassettes. The leftovers now are just, everything's basically profit after our fees are taken out. We sold another Stussy shirt. This one... Uh, Sold for $36 ship, something like that. It did go global shipping, if I'm not mistaken. We had gotten 14 to, I can't remember, it was either 14 or 17 of these Stussy shirts for basically $100 plus, I think, $13 shipping from an auction site online. They're all basically new uh, without tag. They're in great shape. They still kind of have the fold marks in them like they had been folded. And we've sold most of them for at least about $28. So... We're in them for maybe seven or eight bucks each. We're selling them for about twenty-eight. We're actually doing okay when it's all said and done, but a couple of the bigger, higher-dollar ones make you know make a little more profit. So that's pretty cool. And we also sold another Farberware um, rotisserie grill. We got a bunch of those from the Hirsch buy. This is our second one to go out right now. Uh, the first one I think sold for the same price. This one sold as well. I got to pack it up. It's kind of a pain to pack them up, to be honest. They're not the most fun. There's so many parts. And you got to like layer them and make sure it's all protected, but not too hard. I guess I'm just being a complainer, but either way, uh, we'll get that one packed up out of here. Plus we got that vacuum to pack up. So it's going to be a busy day, but luckily some good sales came through, which means we made money, which that's what it's all about. So uh, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next clip for Thursday sales. Hey guys, we are back with another What's Sold on eBay video. These are the sales from Thursday, I believe. So definitely a good day. One item over $100, and it comes from an item that we parted out, and one piece sold for over $100. So that's awesome. Definitely something to keep an eye out for. A bunch of media, a lot of lower stuff, but it's going to make us money. Got a record, some shoes, and something we got out of the trash that we made money on. So let's go over what sold today. We'll start off with the juicer that we bought. We spent 5 bucks on this juicer. Just bought it a couple days ago. Um, it is a Hamilton Beach juicer. We ended up selling these little uh, little latches that hook onto the juicer and kind of buckle it in, uh, buckle the uh, like the lid and everything on it. So it's, when you're using the juicer, it like stays in place. Uh, I went to look at the price of the juicer as a whole unit. It really wasn't worth selling it that way, and it wasn't selling often. I opted since I got it for so cheap just to part out all the pieces. These little latches just snapped right off, and they sold for thirteen bucks. So they're gonna go first class. Probably cost three something to ship them out. And we're going to make, you know, all of our money back and maybe a little bit more, a couple do dollars more just on this one piece. Plus, we have all the other pieces of the unit to sell. So that's pretty cool. We'll get in the media. We'll go pretty quick through this. A lot of it's lower dollar. But Jethro Toll, this little DVD sold for 9 or 10 bucks. So pretty easy there. 
Red Dead Redemption for 360 sold for 12 or 13 bucks. An older listing, so I had it higher priced, I guess, but it finally sold. McClintock from the Hirsch Buy, brand new sealed John Wayne DVD. This one sold for $8 shipped. People ask me, why do you waste your time selling an $8 item? Uh, good question, I guess, but uh, the reality is for me, I guess my time might be worth it. I'll probably make three to four bucks on this when it's all said and done because it's going to go out about three dollars, two eighty nine to ship at media mail. Fees are probably what a dollar ten, something like that, and um, we end up making three to four bucks. It goes in a ten cent bubble mailer, so not really a whole lot invested. Um, I wouldn't go, you know, buy this at a garage sale for a dollar or two, but if you're getting a big bulk buy of DVDs, it does pay off sometimes to list the cheaper ones. Uh, Animal Crossing for 3DS sold for 20 bucks, so that's a nice one, good uh, game to look out for. Miles Davis and the Horn sold for $15, this is from the big jazz buy, that CD sold well. Adele, 25, brand new sealed. This came in a $5 stack of CDs, they were all sealed. I like Jonas Brothers, Adele was there, I think there was... I don't know if it's Christina Aguilera was there. There was like a bunch of like, I guess, pop, if that's what you want to call it. But um, this one sold for like 12 or 13 bucks. So that one made all of our money. And then some Halo Reach sold for, I think, $9. This is a game I played a lot growing up as a kid. Even went to some tournaments because I was kind of nerdy. But either way, that one sold for 9 And then Peter, Paul, and Mary in concert. This CD sold for like 17 shipped. Uh, this one was, I got a bunch of CDs by this artist. And they're all going to sell for probably around that $15 mark. So pretty happy with those. Uh, Van Halen record right here from the big rock and roll record buy. This one sold for $50 shipped. It's in pretty good shape. 50 bucks on that. We'll put it in a vinyl or a, yeah, vinyl mail or whatever it is. Um, and that should probably ship out probably first class, I would think, for a few dollars. So not too bad. Went to a garage sale and we got some, uh, they had some shoes. They had a bunch of other stuff. But everything else was pretty overpriced. They were moving. Um, and uh, I was like, man, you're never going to sell anything at this price. But either way, I found these shoes for 2 bucks. these KDs. And they sold for $50 ship. So that part was a great deal. Uh, happy to get them out of here. They probably lasted, I don't know, four months on the on eBay or whatever. And they finally sold. We sold a CD player, a Sony little Walkman. These always sell well if you can get them and they work. Some models do even better. $25, $30, $40, $45 ship. This one sold for $23 ship. But there are some higher dollar ones. So definitely look them up. And obviously brand new sealed Sony can do really well. We sold a Japanese Naval Vessels book. This is from the old book buy. This one's kind of beat up. It even has some tape right here on the dust jacket. It sold for 25 shipped, though. It only took about two weeks or so to sell, maybe three. And uh, mine, again, wasn't in the best shape, but it still sold. So can't beat that. Now, the item that I got in the trash, which I mentioned, uh, I was doing a little drive in the neighborhood to our, to our house or whatever, and there was a big trash pile of stuff they were getting rid of. And um, they had a uh, washer and dryer there and different stuff like an oven and all that. And I found that they had an oven that had some knobs on it. So I confirmed everything was going in the trash. It didn't matter. They were doing one of their trash pickups. I pulled off all the little knobs. And I got the model unit of the actual unit I pulled them off of. And I sold this little one. This is like a temperature one for the oven. This sold for $15 ship. Just this little replacement knob. It goes to a GE hot point or whatever it is. Um, so 15 bucks for that. If you guys, you know, have old appliances you're going to toss or get rid of or you're going to replace them in your house and the new one, the people are take, putting the new ones in, they're going to take the old ones, pull off the little knobs real quick. A lot of them just slide right off, make sure they're in good shape, get the model number of your unit, and you can sell them as replacement pieces, usually for about 10 to 20 bucks a piece because someone has that one and their knob breaks or whatever, and it's a good way to make a couple extra bucks. So might be something to consider. Yes, it was from the trash, but we make some money, which is great. And the best sale... Is a Vitamix 3200 or 5200 C. This is just the motor base. I got this with the blender uh, pitcher, but it did not have a lid. Um, the pitcher has the blade built in. So this one right here, I got for 10 bucks from one of my sources. He didn't know if it worked. I'm like, well, I'm gonna take it for 10. Couldn't really test it there, but I'm like, well, the pitcher alone will probably get me 50 bucks. Uh, just by itself and it was in good shape so i'm like if the blender motor works i'm gonna do well rather than go buy a lid for it and make it one unit i opted just to sell this separately this sold for 135 ship so 135 bucks just for the base i was able to test that everything worked the different speeds and i'll still be able to sell the uh actual pitcher here later on and that one will probably go for again 50 bucks or so so turning 10 into 180 you know, obviously fees and shipping and all come out, but that is awesome. Not all blender bases are worth a lot of money, but a lot of them have value. You need to test them. Some of them won't actually work unless you get the motor and everything hooked up to it or the 
pitcher in the lid and everything. Some of them require it all to be hooked up to really test it fully. So keep an eye out if you have it tested in the beginning. But yeah, there is some money part in these out. So 135 ship. So that's all I have for you guys right now. We may have some more sales coming through. Actually, we just sold... Uh, I don't know. We sold something, some books it looks like. So maybe I'll pop those here up on the screen, but I think it's some CB radio books. So that just sold. So maybe they'll be here. And if anything else, I'll try to show you guys that as well. Take care. Hey guys, we're back with another little clip here. These are the final sales from Thursday. We actually had five or six come through. So definitely a decent amount. So I wanted to show you guys them. There's a couple of good ones here. Uh, today is now Friday. It's actually my anniversary with my wife. We've been married for five years now. So I want to get all this done and packed up and dropped off so we can move on to some other stuff today. And get all the eBay stuff taken care of. So let's get into it. We got Looney Tunes. Two DVDs here. These sold for 30 ship. This is volume one and volume three. Got them in a stack of when I got the um, X file stuff, I think they were in there. So those sold for 30 ship. We spent 10 bucks in the whole stack of DVDs, so great deal. I don't know if they're selling a little bit better because of I think was it one of the Looney Tune characters is being discontinued or whatever. I don't know. I can't keep up with everything right now, but I'm sure. Someone knows, so I don't know if that might have triggered that sale, but they did end up selling. A book by Huey Newton, To Die for the People, sold for like 30 shipped, somewhere around there, 20 something, 30 shipped. That came in a big book buy. Citadel Miniatures, this is a 1999, just a catalog. Uh, this sold for $15. It came in a big RPG buy we had, and I'm um, just a catalog alone. It should go out first class, it doesn't really qualify as media mail, so I think it's light enough to go first class though. Here's a Motorola Porta Pocket, it's a little charger here. For like a little um, Motorola radio thing. This one sold for I think $21 or 20 something shipped. It should still go first class. We had like five of these. I think they were selling for like $28 initially. And we sold through three of them. And now we're, this is one of our last two left. So made money. I think we spent five bucks on a whole bag of stuff. So that was a great deal. But it has taken a while to sell. Here's a Pride W. Uh, not a Pride WWE. But a Pride wrestling belt. Uh, this has kind of got the foam one I mentioned in another video. These are like the foam ones. These are a little older by Jack Pacific, I think. Yep, 2010. This one actually is broken. You can kind of see that. It's still sold for $40 shipped. It's a harder belt to find, so that one went out for $40. And lastly, sold a book set, The Work and the Glory. Um, this is a nine-volume set. It sold for $70 shipped. We're in it for $9. It was a dollar each at an estate sale and ended up selling for $70. So can't complain there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the content. Um, shout out to my wife. Five years. Thank you, sweetie. Love you. Appreciate you putting up with me and all this junk behind me and um, just being a blessing to me, to the, the kids, and uh, just super thankful to have you in my life and that you chose me. So I love you. If she is watching, she's probably not though because you know she lives the eBay life. She doesn't need to watch the videos, but if anyone talks to her, let her know I said all that. So thank you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.